Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing our first collab on this channel. And we are collabing with Lauren Perkins. And we are doing a look with our brand new pie palette from Glamlight. So if you would like to see how I created this look with this palette, keep watching. So, like I said in the intro, we are doing a collab with a friend and follower here on YouTube, and her name is Lauren Perkins, and I will put her, link her down in the description, I will link her down in the description, and we are doing a collab with the Glam Light Pie Palette, and if you have not seen my unboxing yet, I will also link that down in the description. And we are going to jump in and do a look with the palette and a few things that came in the box. Um, I went ahead and did my face products and uh, those will be listed in the bottom uh, of the description box. And I also used my e.l.f. Sunkissed or Forever Sunkissed Bronzer as a transition shade. So this is the palette. So there she is in all her glory. And we got three, three new brushes. So we are going to use these bad babies. I use this uh, fluffier brush to put down uh, my transition shape. So I think we are going to go in with this little, without the hair, minus the hair, minus the hair. And we are going to dip in to Sweet Potato. Got some pigment on there. And there will be swatches in my other video. Take this paper off. So I'm just going to run that right here in my crease. Then I'm going to pick up that fluffy brush and blend that out. Is everybody ready for Christmas? It's upon us. I did not know that, uh, well, I knew <clears throat> per se it was this week, um, but I thought I had a few, like, I'm living back in last week is what I'm doing. Yes, I am living back in last week. I thought I had more days to post videos. I'm living in video land right now. And then next I'm going to dip into a mud pie, this one right here. And I'm going to put this in my outer, outer third. And then up into the crease. And then we're going to take this fluffy brush and we are going to blend her out. I love Glam Light's shadows. They are so pigmented. They are so good. And the shimmers are to die for. So I'm gonna mix sweet potato and mud pie together in this outer third to blend it out. And I will also have Glam Light down below where you can go check them out. I am going to pick up an extra brush. This is the e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. And I'm going to run that up into my crease a little bit more. It takes me a minute to get used to new brushes, but I'm still going to use those. I just needed an extra one. And now I'm going to jump into my bronzer and grab just a tiny little bit of that. 
uh, to help me blend. Because we need just a little bit of a lighter transition shade in this palette for some of the colors. Now I'm going to go back to this brush and I'm going to blend. And now I'm gonna go over and catch the other eye up. Okay guys, and now I am back and I am going to dip into one of these gorgeous shimmers. And I think I'm going to dip into Pecan. So I'm going to go in with this Packer brush from Glamlight. And I am just going to see how much we can pick up with this brush. This, now, this brush could be multi-purpose. It could be used as a packer brush, and it could also be used as a concealer brush. It's whatever you want to um, use it for. Did any of you pick up the pie box? I also picked up the chocolate box, but I don't know what's going on with my mail, but uh, it's not here yet. People are already putting up their um, videos, so I haven't got mine. Okay, I I like to use my finger here on my channel with shimmer, shimmers. So I am going to go in with my finger. Yes, I swatched another one earlier. And I'm just going to go right in to that inner corner. And guys, oh, these shimmers are so gorgeous and I find it easier and you get better payoff if you use your finger for a shimmer but a lot of people don't like to use their finger and then I'm going to dip into a nutty pecan this one right here which that's the one I dipped into to see the color difference and I am going to put that right here in like my middle lid. These are so gorgeous. And then when I'm done with my using my finger, I like to take a brush and I'll just go ahead and use this one. And I just like to make sure all that product is blended out and I'll take it in an upward motion like so. Now I'm going to go over and do the other eye. Okay, now I'm going to dip back into Mud Pie. And I'm going to bring a little bit more warmth back to the outer corner. And I'm just going to use this e.l.f. blending brush. I'm gonna pack that into my outer third and then I'm just going to, I'm gonna deepen it back up. Where I used that orange shimmer. I just wanna bring a little bit more warmth back to the outer third. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna jump off here and I'm gonna clean up my edges. Put on some liner and then I'm going to put on these gingerbread lashes and then I will be back to put on my highlighter and my brush. Hey guys, now I'm back. I got on my gingerbread lashes. That was a little funny because <laughs> I've got these nails on and then I ended up getting lash glue on my fingertips and on the edges of the lashes and so when I would get it put on then of course I would pull it. My lashes would be stuck to my finger so it was a little bit funny um, I used the Hank and Henry slick with it um, liner and oh I forgot how good this was this was a repurchase during Cyber Monday um, so oh I love it now we are going to use this brush which I swished it off and we're going to go into mud pie this one right here. If you're wondering, I am in a onesie um, <laughs> because it's cold and I stay very cold all the time. So I wanted to be warm and this is very warm and I find myself wearing it around the house a lot. So I just didn't want to get out of it. So I am going into mud pie and I am going 
to do the under eye. Actually, I'm just going to use my Jaclyn heel brush. Don't touch it, Belinda. Oh, I need to use a waterline color. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Nana Coco Longwear Eyeliner in, in dark brown. And I'm gonna dip into my e.l.f. bronzer to help blend that out and put a little bit right here. And then we're just going to blend. Now that we have the under eye done, we are almost finished. And now I'm going to go in with the Hank and Henry um, Clout Mascara. Um, it has a small, very teeny tiny small wand. So I'm very excited to try this out. Oh, wow. That is teeny tiny. And look at that. Alrighty, now we are going to use the highlighter and the blush out of this palette. I'm very excited to see how the blush looks on the cheeks. I could have used that, I guess, um, in with my transition, but I didn't want to use that and on my eyes and in this. So we're going to take this e.l.f. blush brush, and we are going to dip into Cherry Pie Blush. Wow. Oh, there's still a lot. Good thing it's not like really dark. Oh, that light's doing that again. That's a nice looking blush. And I like to take my blush, I don't like to put it in the apples of my cheeks anymore because I'm getting older, so I like to bring it up a little bit higher. And it makes you look like you have a facelift. Right, I need to lighten that up just a pinch. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush, just kind of tap it right in here. That is a tip to lighting light. Whew, that is a tip to lighten your blush. If you ever get it too dark, just to take your foundation brush or your beauty blender, whatever you use and just kind of tap around the blush and it will lighten up. Now I am going to spray my face with some Slay All Day Setting Spray in Dreamsicle and there will be a link below if you'd like to purchase this and I don't know if I mentioned it but I did put my Gerard Clean Canvas Eye Base in Fair on my lids before I started the tutorial. And that will also be down below. So I'm going to spray my face. Now we are going to dip into the Cookies in Milk highlighter. And I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit, I swatched it before, but I don't think it's gonna be very light. For the look but we'll see oh it is well it worked out just fine I'm also going to get another glam light palette out that I use quite often now um, to use the highlighter. So I like to get out the Glam White Donut Palette and use this middle highlighter right here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Cause it has a gold reflect to it. 
in it um, so it doesn't look like white. I'm gonna use this little um, no fudge, just smudge a MOTD brush I got out of Ipsy. And I'm going to use this for my inner corner and my brow bone. And here is the color, if you have not seen it. It's so stunning. I love this highlighter. Now we are going to put on a nude lip and I will be right back. Now I am back and I use the Gerard Cosmetic Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil and I used Kimchi Doll, um, which is this color right here. And I wanted to do a nude top lip because I'm gonna go in with this Glam Light Gloss Sleeve Eggnog, if I'm correct. And this is eggnog and I will swatch that for you so I thought it would look really good with the two lip pencil the lip pencil and the lipstick that I chose and that highlight is really nice it's not um, it doesn't it does stand out but it's kind of blends in with my face I really like the uh, palette um, I like the look that I created with it. I like the lashes. Um, the highlighter is so gorgeous. And the lip. I love this eggnog lip color. It's very nice. Um, so yes, that is the end of this um, collab with Lauren. I'd like to thank Lauren for coming to my channel. Um, I've enjoyed getting to know you through your videos and uh, anybody that's from Lauren's channel, thank you for coming over and watching my little uh, tutorial with the uh, Cherry Pie palette from Glam Light. And like I said, there will be links below to Glam Light, Gerard Cosmetics, and everything that I used in this will be linked below. And I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. I know this year has been rough, um, so, you know, let's focus on what we do have and uh, not what we don't have. Um, enjoy the time that you spend with the ones that you are spending it with, and next year will be different. Um, and also, um, we are doing something on the 31st, which is New Year's Eve. Lauren, uh, this was her ideal, um, to take a moment of silence um, for those that we have lost this year, for those that have gotten sick through the pandemic, for those that have lost their jobs, and for everything else that has happened in 2020, we want to take a moment of silence. We want to leave this year behind us and start a new year focusing on positive things. So on this channel, we are going to take a moment of silence at about... So you, if you are on this channel, I will come on here about, I don't know, five minutes before um, the new year strikes. And me and my husband will take a moment of silence um, for the ones lost, uh, everything that's happened in 2020, and we will be saying a prayer while we're taking a moment of silence for 2021. So if you would like to join us on um, New Year's Eve, it is going to be a different type of New Year's Eve. Um, so we would in we would really love it if you would be here with us and also be with Lauren, um, her followers, be with her on her channel. And guys, that is the end 
of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss a beat. I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.